Hello and welcome my friend and how are you doing? Okay, hello my friend and next I am planning to show you that how I can know that I have leaks in this my engine and now I am meaning that if we can think that we have oil leak or then in water and especially coolant leak and how I can see and analyze that what kind of leak I have. Okay, normal thing is that when we have this our car's engine, we have in inside in this engine there is engine oil and there is this engine oil stick and this engine oil is normally black. And then we have in this radiator area there is coolant liquid what looks like water. And I have in here this uh, two examples. Some cars we have my almost this coolant is like water, and I have in here a small bottle, and this is water in inside. And this water looks like that when I grind a little bit in ground. We can check so we can check that what this looks like, and then we have sometimes we have and most often. We have a specific coolant liquid, what is normally red. And I also little bit insert that red in my ground. And I have in there protective paper. And then we go to look those leaks. Okay, and then when we look in there, we can see that, that there are now my paper. And this first thing in there, this is, this is like this... Uh, Water and coolant leak, that kind of material in there. This, this, and it is normally like water in here, this thing. And if we can see that kind of stuff in our uh, floor or below of this engine area, we can think that now we have coolant leak. And then, how about then when I move that little bit that, that my paper, what, what is then this black one in there? That stuff. That stuff in here. What is in here? This this thing. This is oil. And now I have situation that in that my current car, what is in there, I have analyzed that there is now only coolant, coolant leak and there is no any oil leak because here was before little bit older car what drain out oil but this my current car what is in there when we check that area there is this water and coolant and now there is situation that this car there is coolant coolant leak and how what we need to do then if we have coolant leak in our car we need to first purchase that specific, like this Max Life Valvoline Coolant Antifreeze Concentrate. This is excellent product. And in emergency case, we can install in there water. And in really, really emergency case, we can install in there like that stuff, what is made in France, and it is champagne. Champagne. But now this is, sorry, this is empty. But champagne is the, the most last thing what we can insert in there if we don't have water. But normally when we start, we always go to purchase specific this uh, Max Life Valvoline, uh, this anti coolant, coolant antifreeze concentrate. And why we need to use that stuff? This protect our engines against corrosion and rusty. That's the reason. In, in that we use coolant and not water. Okay, but then this most important thing that how we can find this my coolant leak. Okay, <clears throat> there is now, <clears throat> now situation that first we go to check this our car's radiator cap area. And in some cars we have so nice Thing that we can open this cap and then we look into your inside. 
Because if this area is empty, then we can right away see that now we have leak. And let's go to look that thing. That what we can see in there and in here, that area. And now we can see that this is empty. And now we need to add in there right away this coolant. And this adding happens so that I take my coolant antifreeze. And this, this is like, this is product that I need to mix that like 50% coolant and 50 water. And now I first insert in there this coolant liquid. And this is like red. And now I fill that and then, then I estimate I need to purchase more that stuff because now it's empty. And now I add in there this my water. This is not wine, remember. And then I add in here water. Okay, and now, now we can see that now this my, my coolant radiator is full. And then, if I have any leaks, it happens so that when I start this my engine, and if this, this liquid amount goes lower, then we can start to check that where is there leak. And now there is really situation that there is leak. And now I start this my engine, that we can see these leaks. But before that, I insert this cap hat back in here. And then I start this engine. And of course, I need to, when I start this engine, I need to open my garage door because otherwise this is too extremely dangerous. And now I, I start this my engine and then we start to investigate in here that there is this leak because quite soon I will show you that there is some area where this water and coolant is dro dropping down. And let's look, let's do that next when I have started that engine and then we go to look in here below of engine area. Remember, when we are looking those leaks, we have to go in there under of this car body, under of this engine. Because then we can see that where is this, where are those coolant dropping down. And soon we continue. Okay, and now engine is running. And then we, right away we can see that there is some dropping in ground. Look. There is dropping something in there. Right away. When I have this paper, and then we can look in there. Hey, there is something dropping. Just in there. Look. There is now leak. Something is dropping in there. Let's go to look at what is there. Because there is now situation that in the ground there is all time dropping something in there. And there is now leak. Let's go to look. We can see that, hey. There is now something coming, really much, and there is this coolant leak. Let's look. Where is this? Okay, there. Can you see? There is one hose in there what is leaking. There is coming coolant in this mattress area. It is wet. And there is leak, this upper two pipes in this other area, there is all time coming water. And this water, water is in here. And it's coming quite much. And when we look, this mattress is, it is totally flat in here. And the leak area is in there up. You can see that. 
there is a little bit coming this upper holes in there. Okay, and now we found this lead area which is not in this uh, gray food, but a little bit upper and then we need to go through that area closer in upper area. Okay. And there is this white paper is good good uh, proof that now something is happening. Okay, and then we look this leak area in upper area also. Okay, and now when we are looking at this leak area, we have to go in in that area in here because there are those pipes. And then I take a little bit light that we can see what is wrong in there. And, and yes, there we can see those two hoses. They are in. They are actually those those two hoses. That one and this leak leak hose is this lower one. What is a little bit hidden. It is in. I a little bit changed that we can see that lo this lower one hose is this leaked leaked hose that I need to now repair. And now it means that when we look in that area, can we see any any more leak? There are two hoses and lower one of those. And let's look. There are those hoses, and I need to take both of those hoses away and check that why this lower hose leaks. And what I am planning to do next. Next I need to take those these air filter consoles and these cables away and then we can see that hose closer. And soon we continue. Okay, and then I am planning to show you that what I am I am planning to do next and this is this my issue cable that one and now I have modified this my this metallic hose in this shape and then I have in here secret weapon I am planning to insert this kind of metallic clamp where is this uh, bolt in here and I am planning to use now two these clamps so that first clamp comes in here in that area and second in here and when I insert that my cable in here I insert that totally deep and first clamp comes in in that side area and then second one in here and this is easy to rotate and this is extremely tight metallic fastener this this model and my old one was it looks like that this is also okay but this is much better and I am planning to insert these two and these are different sides we can purchase these metallic fasteners and this my sides fits very well in this my hose and in that way I am planning to insert and totally in there and first one comes in that position and second one in here two of those and then cross head screwdriver and then I have third important thing important thing I am planning to use in here also one specific glue and for that purpose I clean these my pipes really well especially this lower one and then then, um, then I think that I use also little bit sandpaper and here is this my sandpaper I use this sandpaper also and there is this my sandpaper and it is like 130 is this my sandpaper sides and then I use this high quality Mirka brand and we can purchase this, that Mirka brand in this uh, this Amazon.com webpage. Look, and this is excellent. And what a bigger number than more uh, police and la 
shiny is this this uh, sandpaper material and if we have very small number like 30 or 60 this is very hard material in this but if we have like 400 this is really shiny but now I have this 120 and I am planning to little bit do scratches in this pipe and an idea is that when there is this scratches then this my glue takes better contact yeah, now, now I do this scratches in there all areas and then I take clean cotton cloth I have in here clean cotton cloth and I take those all dirties away and then I have secret weapon number two and this is my secret weapon number two it is Sika, Sika brand what we can purchase in Amazon.com like in England and this, this is gasket and this is specific silicon glue what fits in this engine areas. Look, there is this yellow area that this fits excellent, excellent way in, in this engine gasket areas. And next I am planning to insert that glue and this gasket glue in this area also. And then I have like double check. I have the Sika gasket glue and also those metallic fasteners. And then I believe that is my system works and next I am planning to insert this glue in there and then I insert this my hose and these clamps and next we continue okay and here I have this my compression machine that when I trick this my my pistol then when I press that my thing in that way then this glue comes out in this nose Okay, and then I start to insert that. There is this red glue. And I insert that glue now in this outer area. All areas in here in that way. And this purpose is to leak those coolant leaks. And this is excellent, excellent glue. This res resists well almost all, all things. Only gasoline is too bad for that and all areas now I insert that in first in that way and then I use my hand okay and then, then I take this away in here and then I use my finger and then use use hand close because this is this glue can be little bit harmful our skin and do not insert anything in this inside this tube because it is this our cars inside cabin heater area now I insert that my glue and then I then I think that I can actually add this little bit more this my glue and I insert my glue in a little bit in this area, like in that area, in this way. Excellent. This way. And then I use my finger. And now I peel it. Now I believe that there is enough this glue and then I take then I take this my hose what is in here and I insert that hose in here and please remember to clean also this hose inside area then I insert that in this way looks good and there comes this first fastener and I inserted my hose in directly against this wall it is like this first one that way and then, then I have this my screwdriver that I rotate that 
my metallic this this fastener that way and I keep that cord now it, it goes deeper Okay, and then I continue this my job. There's this my, my tool, and I continue to rotate that. And that way, I rotate that. Then, and this metal. Okay, in that way. Good. Now this one is there. Then I take this next clamp, put this in this position, and I fasten also this one. Same way, same way. This is good joint in that way, and then I let this, I let this, this connection, I I leave this connection to dry like two hours, and after that I insert this upper hose, and I add this coolant liquid. Okay, but next I wait two hours that this system becomes dry. Okay, and then we continue. And this, my fix is almost, almost, almost ready. And thank you.